It was a down day on Wall Street as investors saw a clearer picture of the damage and devastation in Japan. But concerns weren't limited to the impact of a major earthquake and to the resulting tsunami. A second explosion at a nuclear power plant compounded fears and added to worries about the use of nuclear energy. The luxury goods sector was also knocked lower. 11% of global luxury sales come from Japan. Stocks specifically hit hard in that sector included Tiffany and Coach. Both lost more than 5%. Apple sold close to 1 million iPad 2 tablet computers in its opening weekend, according to analyst estimates. Early demand was so strong, Best Buy said some of its locations sold out of the device within 10 minutes. This new iPad is selling quicker than the original iPad launched less than a year ago, but there are concerns the situation in Japan may impact international sales. There is growing speculation the Nasdaq could launch a hostile offer for NYSC Euronext. A source familiar with the matter says Nasdaq OMX could make a rival bid sometime this week, taking on up to $5 billion in debt and selling off a part of the NYSC to Intercontinental Exchange. The Nasdaq declined comment. The New York Stock Exchange is already in a deal with Deutsche Borsa. In Wall Street action, stocks bounced off a six-week low but remained in negative territory. Oil shed its losses to finish slightly higher above $101 a barrel. And in Europe, stocks touched a three-month closing low led by a drop in utility stocks. Conway Gittins, Reuters.